Hi, this is Sharon Webb, Travel Tracker Implementation Specialist. You may or may not be responsible for entering trip mileage. Various districts handle mileage in different ways. If you are responsible for entering trip mileage, we have provided a view to enter the trip mileage for multiple trips. From your School Finance tab, click on the Vehicle Mileage Not Entered option here on the left. The top part of the screen will provide a way to filter and narrow down the list of trips that need mileage entered. If you have a trip sheet with a specific trip or vehicle number, you can use the filters at the top to select trips based on that information. Now the bottom part provides a list of trips that still need mileage and meet the criteria from the top part of the screen. Each trip that has not had mileage entered will be listed. If there are multiple entries for a trip number, look for the correct vehicle number before entering mileage. So here in this column under vehicle, be sure that you are on the right vehicle for that particular trip that took multiple vehicles. Now notice that there is a column here for estimated miles and then the last column is for your entries. Enter the beginning and ending odometer reading for a trip. I'm just using my tab key. Now I'm going to click this compute button and notice the words pending change come up here and I can see my um, miles that has been computed for the uh, actual odometer reading. Uh, notice that the word added here in 15, some districts uh, will add in or subtract mileage back and forth from the garage to your school so you can spot check from the estimated miles and the actual miles uh, to make sure you, it's not something too far out and that you haven't made a, a mistake uh, keying the information. Now the words pending change remind us that we have to click the confirm changes button at the top of the screen so that we can save that mileage that we've entered. Uh, once you click the confirm changes button the, uh, and the mileage will be re removed from your view since it, we now have entered that. So I'm going to click my confirm changes. It'll say, are you sure? I'll say, okay. <clears throat> so now that trip goes away from my list. Uh, now, if you need to see a trip that you do have that mileage entered, that you've entered that mileage, uh, you can use your buttons up here to show uh, uh, all trips and all dates and then that's going to give you a view uh, of those trips um, requests that you have entered in your beginning and ending mileage. So you can view it that way. I hope that you uh, are uh, able to use this nice feature uh, if you are responsible for entering mileage uh, into uh, for, for your trips. Thank you.